Alright guys, we're talking today about the Blackmagic camera app. They updated it, so now you can record an Apple log in their app and not only in the native iPhone app. So I have here the iPhone 15 Pro Max and as you know, like you can record Apple log, it's amazing camera, blah blah blah. Yes it is. And now with this app from Blackmagic camera, which is free, you can now record an Apple log footage there and not only this. The most important thing is you can change the Apple ProRes to not only film in HQ, now also in LT or Proxy, which are, have smaller bit rates and your footage is like not blowing up in file size. So if you want to have something smaller, if you just want to create a nice reel and using the lock footage, so you can record in proxy or an LT, meaning the file size is smaller and not like in HQ where 10 seconds are nearly two gigabytes, so which is quite a lot. I was really waiting for Blackmagic Camera to be the first editing this and Surprise, they did. That's why I love also DaVinci. Update the app, update also ISO and Instagram because Instagram is overheating your phone, as you would not know. And coming back to the app. So if you go now into the settings, you can see Apple ProRes 422 in HQ, in 422 normal, in LT, in proxy, and the HV and U. But in these profiles, you cannot record. Oh, you can. Like, you can record lock in any profile. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's amazing. So you literally can record in H.264 and H.265 also in lock, meaning your files are more compressed, super small. Your computer maybe not handle it so well, so you'd create proxies at the end the same, but you have smaller files, which is insane. So, but we want record in LT and here in the color space, you can see you have Rec 709, Rec 2020, and then you have Apple Lock HDR, which is a really insane. I, I was filming yesterday on a concert um, with all the three lenses or four lenses. So wide angle, the main camera and the tailor. This is insane. It was so sharp. And I know when I film with the iPhone in the lock, so you have to decrease the exposure value by like one or two. So this way you have less noise and your footage looks clean. And it is so amazing. And you just can color grade it on your phone. It's it's amazing. If you want to know how I can make a tutorial, let me know. Um, basically, that's all. I don't want to do this a whole tutorial, how you can use this app and whatever. I just want to show you, you can record now in lock on your phone with the iPhone. And you have full control over the shutter speed full control over the ISO if you want to crank it up, but always keep it low because otherwise you're not nice footage because it gets very noisy. <laughs> but I did a lot of tests. I was here in Dresden and I was filming outside evening time and now also on a concert. And I'm really surprised if you bring down the ISO and with the lock that you have so much dynamic range. You have so good footage that even don't need a camera, but it's sometimes silly to just film with the phone and it's like people looking to me. It's like, oh, but for example, yesterday in the crowd, out, I could film easily. No one was like seeing that I was doing like professional videos, you know, and that's really nice. And it is small. You can do vlogs. You have this lock. You can also with the camera, you can match it very easily. So coming back to the camera, then you press record and it's basically recording now. Um, super cool. Hello, the camera. <laughs> and with the iPad here and the Sony A1. So once you record it, it straight away saves here. Yeah, and you can straight away upload it to the cloud and you can edit. So yeah, here you can see I was recording a 10 second clip and I listed down here the codec and also the color space is always in Apple Lock HDR. So you can see here the different codecs as well, which bitrate it is as well the file size. So my recommendation is the Apple ProRes 422 proxy as it has 150 Mbit of bitrate, which is pretty good for stock footage, for client work or anything. And if you want to have it really small, then you can use the H265 which is very compressed and the file size is very small as well. And you have also the lock footage. Pretty amazing. Now you can create a lot of footage and not blowing up your space. But if you want, if you do stock photography or your client work, you can do. This is such a powerful tool. I don't know, people, 
asking me, should I switch from the iPhone 15, uh, 14 to iPhone 15? I was like, okay, it depends what you want to do. If you use your phone daily, no. If you want to record videos, doing vlog, and you have in mind buying a camera, update your phone because you can do a lot there and you have everything in your pocket. So that's quite amazing. I have also this little rig here where you can film a little bit more. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Check out this update, check out Blackmagic Camera. They are, did an amazing job there with this app and I'm super happy to have these features now. And yeah, if you want more of these videos, please let me know and see you in my next video. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and ask me anything about how to record with the iPhone, how to color grade or whatever. I will answer this and I will do a tutorial as well. So peace and out.